Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to re do a reading for Capricorn. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for at any time in November, okay? Now keep in mind that not every reading is for you. This reading may or may not be for you, okay? Um, if I do cough a little bit, I do have a chest cold, head and chest cold. Um, so that's what's going on. Um, so just bear with me if that happens. I may hit pause and cough, you know. So if that happens, it happens. Tulip, great passion. So this is going to be a month of great passion for you. I am at the tail end of it. So it's just my daughter had it last week and gave it to me. So anyhow, what do we have? What do we have for a message for Capricorn for November? What do we have for Capricorn? Ooh, drama queen. You may be dealing with a drama queen. I don't think it's you. I don't. I mean, you may be dealing with a drama queen, but I don't typically see Capricorns as drama queens. I don't. Not from my observations. Anyhow, what else do we have for Capricorn? Woo! You ready for this? News that came flying right out of the deck. So maybe you got a new sexual partner here. Could definitely be the case. My cat says that she, ooh, it just, just fell off the deck. An invitation is coming. She's holding my hand, an invitation is coming. An invitation is coming. Great passion, new sexual partner. Ooh. So what do we have? What do we have for Capricorn? Or if you're already coupled up, there could be a new passion with your current partner, you know, a renewed passion or a lot of passion. What do we have for Capricorn? Page of Ariel, reliable, clever, educated, and balanced. An excellent opportunity will be offered to you. Scholarship or, to, or pursuit of education. Time to get to work. This is the Page of Pentacles. So an excellent opportunity is coming to you. Okay, could be with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, like yourself. So you have an opportunity that is coming to you. You're just gonna have to lay right there, okay? <coughs> what do we have for Capricorn? No. What do we have for Capricorn? Ten of Wands reverse. Now the Ten of Wands reverse is relief. It's letting go of something. This is um, making a conscious change. It's letting something go, you know, uh, dropping something, dropping burdens. It's time to relax. So right now it's time to relax. Page of Pentacles reverse. That's your uh, challenge. So you may be having a hard time relaxing. It's, you need, it's time for you to relax, okay? It really is. It really is. The Page of Pentacles reversed. Maybe it's time for you to just get a little bit of relief, okay? Maybe you need to take a break. Um, don't, you know, I, I really feel like you do. Maybe you've been working a lot. You've been working really hard. You've had a lot of demands on your plate. Maybe you just need to be lazy for a minute. Take a break. Take a break. Queen of Pentacles reversed right below you. So that's male or female, but that is uh, definitely working a lot, focusing on your money, focusing on your job, not focusing on any type of relationship. Um, maybe, you know, maybe you're in a place where you're just not interested. You're not interested in anything. You know, you're just interested in your craft or your money or your job or your career. Um, it's a boring, it's a boring life. Anyhow, oh, what do we have for the past? Is the death reversed? Above you is the four of 
Four of Swords reverse. Yes, it's time for you to live. It, it is. It's time for you to live a little bit. You need, but then again, it's like you need to take a break. I feel like maybe it is. Maybe you maybe you're exhausted. Maybe you're tired. Maybe you're extremely tired. Maybe you need to have a little bit of fun. Mm. Knight of Swords reversed in your future. Ah, oh, lovers. Upright down in your advice so there's some sort of connection here there's some sort of partnership there's a, some sort of union that is perfect this is a perfect match okay maybe it's time for you to connect with somebody i think that it is you need to maybe it's, maybe you need to have a date night or something Ooh, ace of pentacles in your outside influence tower reversed and your hopes and fears. So you may be afraid. You may be afraid of not having anything permanent, you know? You don't want to get yourself involved in any false sense of security, right? What's the overall outcome? Five of Pentacles reversed, which is actually better. So that's a turning point. If you've been abandoning, if you've been abandoned or neglected, maybe you've been neglecting yourself for your job or your home or your house or your family. You know, I think it, I think that there's frustrations here that need to be dealt with. You may need to get together with partner with somebody and go have some fun. Um, <clears throat> sudden, you know, spontaneous. Um, great passion. I feel like you've been exhausted. I mean, the Four of Swords reversed above you. That's extremely exhausted, fed up. Um, you may be even feeling isolated and alone. Maybe you've been pushing people away, focusing on your craft, focusing on your money, focusing on your business, focusing on everything but a partner. I feel like there's a partner that is feeling neglected or you're feeling neglected, and I feel like it's, it's time. I feel like it's time for you to receive. I feel like it's time for you to take a break. It's time for you to relax and have some fun. I think that's the main message that I got right here. Um, Ten of Pentacles is on the bottom of the deck, so there's abundance here. This is uh, definitely, I feel like a lot of you are focusing on your business or your home and, and family, family business, you know, family situations. I feel like you're focusing on your financial success, but I, what, I, what you don't see coming is that you already have abundance or you have an opportunity for a long-term abundance here. Um, right now, I feel like you're... I don't know, maybe you're struggling financially or you're worried about your money and that's your main focus, you know, or your home or your family. It either has to do with your home or your family or your money. I feel like you've been through some sort of significant change, death reverses in the past. You may even be holding on to something that is a false sense of security from your past. Maybe you're holding on to an old partnership or an old something that made you feel secure and you're having a hard time with a new beginning. You definitely do have a new beginning here. This is exciting. With the Page of Pentacles and that new sexual partner, and even if it's with somebody that you're with, this is an opportunity for success with hard work with somebody. This is a new enterprise. It's a new opportunity. I do think that you have somebody here that you are perfect for. This is a perfect match. I feel like whoever you're dealing with, is going to be giving you a golden opportunity or you're going to be giving it to them. This is an opportunity that can lead to the Ten of Pentacles, long-term stability, a long-term family, business, uh, security, okay? you may. This could even lead to, you know, living together if you're with somebody, if you're not with somebody. If you're already with somebody, there could be a growth, okay? This could be a time of growth between you and a partner, uh, deepening a bond with that person. Um... In your future, though, is the Knight of Swords reversed. I feel like you need to do something spontaneous, you know? I don't feel like it's bad. I don't feel like that Knight of Swords, is, maybe you're just in no hurry. You're in no hurry to get get attached or if you're single. It's like you're in no hurry, but there is somebody here that is a perfect match for you. King of Cups could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Does it have to be? This is somebody that is looking for a relationship. They are looking for love. You know, they have some sort of, they may already have some feelings for you. This person may suddenly, spontaneously, you know, uh, send you an offer or an invite. Um, 
They may say something that strikes you, that shocks you, that surprises you. Um, you could, I mean, if you are single, this could be like a sudden attraction or uh, instant attraction or suddenly falling in love or a sudden, something could happen extremely suddenly. Um, this is a turning point with that five of pentacles reverse as the overall and outcome. This is the end of being neglected, okay? Um, coming out, coming out of a dark period. I think that you've been isolating yourself. You Maybe you've been really just focusing on everything but a relationship or your partner or whatever, but I think it's... I think this is it. I think this is the change. This is this is. And it's a massive change with that tower reversed. Two of two of wands reversed. Now the two of wands reversed could be a sudden return or a sudden decision, spur of the moment decision that is being made. You know, I think that fives are struggles and that five of pentacles as the overall outcome. I think that you've been struggling. Maybe you've been really worried about uh, your finances or something like that. I think it's time for you to let go of those worries. I think that there's been some sort of blockage. It's like you've been frustrated, you've been upset, you've been um, overwhelmed with some sort of demands or but it feels like you've been overwhelming yourself it feels like you've been overwhelming yourself but this is a this is definitely i think it's a turning point it's the end of difficulty i think that you've been maybe you've been indecisive over something maybe you've had two options and you were unsure of which way to go and it's been causing some sort of i don't know maybe it's anxiety or upset but i feel like this is a it's a time where you know you're starting to realize what some the best option is or the best path is or something like that two of wands reverse there's some sort of fear here fear of maybe it's fear of stepping into unknown territory or fear of being abandoned fear of being neglected because i feel like you're holding yourself back for some reason and burying yourself and sometimes we do that subconsciously you know, we protect ourselves subconsciously. Maybe you've been blocking, you know, you, because of your own fears. Um, high priestess reversed. Choosing to be single or choosing to be alone or not listening to your gut or listening to poor advice from somebody who's not very spiritual that has hidden agendas. I think you need to be really, really, really careful about who you listen to uh, because it's the high priestess reverse is next to the tower reverse, falseness. I'm wondering if somebody has given you some false advice, you know, somebody that's not very spiritual, that's not very awakened. I think that you need to really listen to yourself, listen to your gut. Uh... We have somebody here that uh, may be choosing to be single or, or, or is blocking an opportunity because I think it's because of fear. I do think it is because of fear because that two of wands reversed is fear of the unknown. Uh, but that tower reverse could be, you know, it's avoiding challenge. It is. It's avoiding, avoiding getting involved you know i don't want to deal with any confrontation i feel like you've been trying to avoid you know maybe you have just been unaware as well that um not everything is false not everything is a lie i think that you're protecting yourself you're protecting yourself from getting involved in a partnership or going very much deeper there's some sort of self-protection here um Now the tower is unavoidable change. It and that's that's you know I think that you're really afraid. You're really af some of you are afraid to give up your independence or you're afraid to go deeper. But there's an excellent opportunity here that is being offered to you where there will be great passion. You need to let go, you need to open up, you need to let just Open up your heart. Let go of your fear. I think there is great fear. Knight of Swords reversed is fear. Maybe there's fear of love, you know. Um, 
whoever you're dealing with is solid. Okay, they're solid, they're real, they're stable. They are really investing in you. They are with that Ace of Pentacles. They want to invest in you. This is a perfect match. This is what you asked for. This is this is a golden opportunity that you can that will last that can turn into that 10 of Pentacles. Ah, now we have the Ace of Wands on the bottom. That is your new sexual partner or a great passion, either one, okay? So there is going to be an exciting new opportunity here. This is sudden, okay? This is sudden. This could be a sudden attraction or a sudden um, opportunity, you know? Um, could be an instant attraction. This could definitely be a new sexual partner. Something is happening here, and it could be happening really fast, okay? This is definitely exciting. Just go for it. This is a seed that is being planted as well. Okay, so there's something new here that is very exciting that can sprout into something solid. Okay, a solid long term partnership. Okay, um, but I feel like you're holding on to something because that death card is reversed, you know, and you're avoiding it. Feels like you're avoiding stepping into that new territory, it's like you're blocking it with the two of wands reversed. And there's frustrations because it's like once you step in down that path with the page of pentacles you've committed to it you've committed to it um so i feel like there's there could be a new sexual partner that turns into a new commitment um and it may start out with i don't know passion if you're single it may start out with i don't know maybe start out with sex i don't know um definitely could be if you are in a partnership now um it could be deepening the bond could be deepening somebody could be getting a proposal you know um An excellent opportunity will be offered to you. This is a passionate opportunity. This will give you an opportunity to build a new foundation. It's a solid opportunity. Now, for some of you, it could be a work opportunity. I'm not sure that it is, though. Whatever it is, it's something that can grow. It's something that will grow. I think it's time to focus on a partnership during November. And that's what I think. Okay, this is about deepening a bond with somebody. You're going to be receiving an offer or you're going to be giving an offer to somebody that is probably scared. I, I do see fear here. I definitely see fear. I mean, whoever, whoever your outside influence is, this person is solid. Okay, it's whoever whoever the other person is that you're that we're talking about right now. This person is solid. They are stable. They are real. It is somebody that you should invest in. I feel like it's for some of you it's an, another earth sign. It could be a Gemini, it could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, I suppose. Um I really feel like it's another earth sign with that page of pentacles. Um But there's avoidance. You can't, you know, you it's time to have some fun with your partner this month. That's what I see. Good luck.